Zachary with WP Soar, and today I'm going to discuss WooCommerce and why it's the best option and best choice for you to implement a shopping cart on your WordPress install. Now, we've tried other shopping carts, including Foxy Cart and WP Ecommerce extensively, and there's simply no comparison. WooCommerce, though it can be a little expensive if you want to start adding features, uh, it is the most feature rich and also has the most installs compared to all the other shopping carts out there. Now, once you get into WooCommerce, you simply hit the install button and activate the plugin. And then it gives you a nice tutorial on how to start. Um, since we're going to go, well, we can go ahead and actually set this whole thing up and we're going to go through the entire process here. All right, so this is just a store locality sh setup. Uh, where is the store located? We're going to say we're in Denver, rather, Colorado. There it is. All right, we're going to be doing pounds and inches as our units. And we're going to do, uh, f we will be shipping physical goods to customers. So we don't know the shipping costs yet. So we're going to go ahead and just skip that step for now. And we're, of course, we're going to be charging a sales tax. Uh, and again, this is just, just for a setup, just so you understand how it works. And immediately comes with a PayPal integration. Uh, we don't have a PayPal setup yet, uh, but you can also do checks, uh, cash on delivery, um, and other bank transfers, which really aren't uh, used too often with WooCommerce. All right, that's all you have to do. And now we have, uh, we, we have the opportunity to allow WooCommerce to collect data on this. I'm going to select Allow. And then we're going to go ahead and create our first product. And that's it. Once WooCommerce is installed, you can start creating products. Um, now, each product is loaded with features. It's got a lot of uh, lots of different ways to scale it. You can have uh, built in. You can have it a simple, a grouped, an external or an affiliate product, a variable product. Um, and there's other extensions you can purchase to make even additional products such as uh, downloadable products. And um, well, actually, that's right here. Uh, but there's other extensions you can have for like subscription products and other things like that. Um, you can you can manage your inventory, you can manage all your shipping information, you can manage your linked products, uh, attributes, and of course there's an advanced feature here. Now, for the setup, that's pretty much all you need to do for WooCommerce just to get going. Okay, and there are plenty of WooCommerce extensions for the shopping cart, which makes it a very powerful fee, which makes the, the shopping uh, for WooCommerce, extremely powerful. There's a lot of features that you can add to WooCommerce. There's some free ones, and of course, there's some paid ones. Um, and there's it's, it's literally anything you can ever want on a shopping cart is here. You can have different ways of payment processing. You can have subscriptions. You can have a USPS integration, UPS integration. And there's usually uh, pretty good tutorials on configuration. We'll try to do as many as we can. And uh, that would be... That would be that the ex cut the extensive amount of shopping cart plugins and the uh, uh, the ability of WooCommerce uh, to fulfill orders is pretty phenomenal and I would not recommend anything else. Of course, WooCommerce is now owned uh, by Automatic, which is the creators of WordPress. So WooCommerce is not only designed for WordPress; it's managed by WordPress as well. So it's the go-to plugin for shopping carts.